honk, honk. I don't want to play traffic jam anymore. Why? Are you mad at me? No, I'm mad at my mom. She said I can't go to any of my rides when Fun Days comes to town. Why not, Bobby? Because... Because at your age, you'll get sick to your stomach, don't you know? Well, Bobby, what if the shoe were on the other foot? My shoe's on the other foot? Then I'd walk funny. No, it means put yourself in your mom's shoes. Imagine what it would be like if you were a parent. <laughs> What's that? It's coming from your house. It's my dad's home. I bet he'll let me go on the fun day rides. Wow! Yes. So Wait, wow. I busted my buttons here. Yes. Hand away. I busted my buttons. Hand away. Well, I'm going to the Big Pants Convention in Rapid City, South Dakota for a whole week. That's right, we're talking about really big pants convention. Waists 54 inches and larger. I'm going to be the keynote speaker. Huh? Wow! Look at these great pictures! True American heroes. President Washington, Lincoln, Jefferson, and Captain Squash! He's a hero to me. <laughs> when are we leaving, Dad? Well, uh, sorry, Bobby, but only, only your mother is going with me on this trip. Uh-oh. When parents go off on vacation without kids, it's either good news or bad news. Daddy, 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 since you're going away and you're, you're going to have a good time without us, can I go on the thrill rides at Fun Days Carnival while you're gone? Can I? What did your mother say about that? Well, what I said was he was too small and he'd get G-Galley stick on the rides. It's bad news. <laughs> Well, gee, Howard, who's gonna watch the kids while we're gone? You know, Aunt Ruth is still getting over her hernia surgery. She can only check in once in a while. Who else can we get to check in on the goings-on? Yes, Bobby, of course you can go on the fun day thrill rides. Ah, that's good news. Please, 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 Mom, can Uncle Ted babysit? He's the best babysitter in the whole wide world. Tonight, our movie on the really, really late show is Monster Parents versus the <laughs> Oh no, Ixnay, no. Sorry, this doesn't work for me. We're definitely not having Uncle Ted, don't you know? On second thought, it's bad news. Howard, there's no way we can trust Ted to look after the kids. Oh, whoa, sis, that's a punch in the gut. Uh, uh, look, Ted, we're, we're sorry, but we, we just don't think that you're up to looking after the kids like for a whole week. I mean, well, that's, that's practically, uh, you know, eight days. Yeah, count them. You have to admit, Ted, sometimes, you know, you behave like a big kid yourself. Uh, oh, gee, I guess you're right. Hey, but, but how are you going to find somebody else to babysit on such short notice, huh? Well, we'll just have to uh, schedule some g Golly interviews and hope we can find the right woman. Psst, Uncle Ted. Yeah, Babo? It's not your fault, Mom won't let you babysit. You know what she said? It has to be a woman. Oh, that gives me an idea, Bobbo. Hello, I'm here about the nanny job. Hi, I'm Bobby. <laughs> if you're gonna be our nanny, I hope you like pets. Oh, I think doggies are adorable. And how do you feel about snakes? <laughs> Don't be afraid, Roger. It's just a hose. I have a rash, and my mommy says it's really infectious. <laughs> I'll get it! Hey, hey, time for Noogie! Uh, uh, noogies! Noogie Fire! Uh, I'm Mrs. Noogie Fire. Hello, uh, I'm here for the nanny job. Do you like snakes? Yeah, sure! Ah, uh, snakes are great! Uh, if I get the job, you know, I'll probably buy you a real one. I've got a really bad rash! There! Now you're all cured, aren't you? 
Well, I'll be plum plated. Well, you you know, you sure know your way around, little boys, Mrs. What, what was it? Uh, Mrs. Noogie Fire! I'm real sorry about all the noise, but the twins have just been so gee golly cranky all day. Well, would you have a look see here, Howard? I swear, they act like Mrs. Noogie Fire's already part of the family, don't you know? It does look like you'll get along just great with the kids, but we will need references. Oh, uh, references, oh, let's see now, man. I'm, 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 I'm good. Oh, 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 I know Uncle Ted <laughs> real well. <laughs> well, uh, what would you think of Uncle Ted as a babysitter? Uh, personally, I wouldn't trust him to watch my bowling ball. Well, she thinks just like we do. So, if her references check out, she's, she's perfect. perfect. I agree with your parents, Bobby. You're too small to ride in the thrill rides at fun days. I'm gonna hate Mrs. Nuggie Fire. <laughs> Roger, I'm gonna scare Mrs. Noogie Fire away. Then Uncle Ted will babysit, and he'll let me go on the thrill rides at the carnival. Come on, Roger. That should take care of her. There you are, Bobby. Now, why aren't you in bed? I, uh, I, I, I thought I heard a burglar in Mom and Dad's uh, closet. You did? Oh, dear. I'd better look. In here? Ah! Oh, 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 oh. The house is haunted! You better run away! Ah, perhaps you're right. Hey, what's that? Yikes! We are haunted! <laughs> I just love a good practical joke. <laughs> I gotcha. Now, time for bed. Let's go. You know, Roger? Mrs. Noogie Fire reminds me of somebody, but I just can't remember who. Hmm. Boy, who is it Mrs. Noogie Fire sure reminds me of? Oh, hockey shockers! Oh, what's a face full of steam? <laughs> hmm, why can't I remember exactly who it is? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Ooh. Whoever it is, sure makes me miss Uncle Ted. I got up this morning. Just a minute. All yours, Bubble. Bye bye. Uh, I really miss Uncle Ted. Oh, something wrong, Bobby. I, I wish you were Uncle Ted. You know, the nice thing about wishes, Bobby, is sometimes they come true. They do? Sure. Just close your eyes and wish while I give you my secret magical head rub. I wish you were Uncle Ted. I wish you were Uncle Ted. I wish you were Uncle Ted. The hell are you? Let me miss his noogie fire. You're turning into Uncle Ted. No, uh, Bubba, Bubba, I was just taking these clothes to the cleaners for Aunt Ruth. You know, I, I just borrowed them. <laughs> I did it so I could be Mrs. Noogie Fire, so I could be the one to watch you guys. Uncle Ted! These are good cookies. 
I didn't know you could bake Mrs. Nook and Uncle Ted. <laughs> you know, Bobbo, I got the idea of disguising myself as Mrs. Noogie Fire from you. Me? Yeah, you said. <laughs> yeah, Bobbo. It's not your fault, Mom won't let you babysit. You know what she said? It has to be a woman. I'm gonna show your mom and dad that I'm capable of looking after you kids. Yeah, this is gonna be really great. Sure thing, Bobby. Of course you can go on the fun day thrill rides. Oh, get that, would you, Bobbo? Who's there? I'm Meeker. I'm Snurd. Together we are Cable Repairmen. Here's my ID, Sonny. Now listen to me. Listen! Always insist on proper identification, my young lad. Always. Boy, your picture is far superior to mine. Oh, no, no, no. Your picture captures your special, how shall I put it, joie de vivre? Oh, thank you. My pleasure. Hello. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Nookie Fire, the nanny. You know, there's a problem with our reception. We're getting way too much snow on the wrestling channel. For such a paradigm of womanhood, there is no problem I would be unwilling to repair vertical or horizontal. Oh, please rope it in, Fabio. It would be my privilege to solve the problems of this very essence of <laughs> softic femininity. That noogie fire? Wow. What a beauty. Mm -hmm. But she's more than a beauty. She's a babe. Time to have some fun. You know, Mrs. Nookie Fire doesn't get out much. She's really busy babysitting. Really? Well, I'd personally be delighted to accompany the lovely Mrs. Nookie Fire for an evening of dancing and eats. <laughs> Give me one large break to go. I think she would much prefer an evening of viewing the latest theatrical release with moi. Yes, Pop? Goodbye, my lovely. Good day, fair maiden. Yeah, yeah, goodbye. Don't forget your date with Mrs. Noogie Fire on Friday. We, we won't. Thanks a heap, Bobby. <laughs> a boy's gotta do what a boy's gotta do. <sighs> now I can be myself. Ted, well, I promised Martha I'd come by and check up on Mrs. Noogie Fire. Are we in trouble? Bobby! Uncle Ted! What's going on? Oh, hockey shockers, Bobbo. She wants to see Mrs. Noogie Fire. <laughs> well, stole her while I get back into the stuff. I want to see Mrs. Noogie Fire, and I want to see her now. Sorry, Aunt Ruth. Uh, uh, I thought you were somebody else. Oh, Bobby, <laughs> you have such an active imagination. You know, you're probably just not used to seeing me with this cane. Easy. Careful. Watch it. Well, it's so kind of you to help, Bobby, but I can walk faster. Oh, 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 now that's a tear. I, I mean a run. Check this out, Kelly. Like, it's Uncle Ted. Oh, come on. Come on. What is this? Oh. Bobby, where is Mrs. Noogie Fire? Hi, uh, I think he's, I mean, uh, she's putting the twins to sleep. <laughs> Bobby, it's okay to make noise now. The twins are awake. They take short naps. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Uncle Ted said we had company. <laughs> you must be Aunt Snoop. Aunt Ruth. <laughs> you know, I have a dress just like that one. My brother took it to the cleaners for me and never brought it back. By the way, where is Ted? Oh, uh, oh, no, Mrs. Noogie Fire can get him for you. Get you, Mrs. Noogie Fire. Yeah, 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 good idea, good idea. You know, I have to change the twins anyway. Uh, you rest and I'll get him myself. Uh, him, Uncle Ted's self. Oh, busy, busy, busy. Uh, Bobby, does Mrs. Noogie Fire seem like she's hiding something? She seemed awfully nervous at the mention of Ted's name. Time to have some more fun. Let's ask her. Mrs. Noogie Fire, are you hiding something about Uncle Ted? Uh, me? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, uh, talking about me, sis? <laughs> I'm right here. Ted, why are your pants rolled up like that? 
Well, we were, we, we were playing dress-ups. Yeah, we were playing dress-ups, were we, Uncle Ted? Huh? Yo, oh, yeah, right, dress-ups. Yeah, yeah, I'm a pirate. <laughs> Arg, I'm a pirate. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, there's something funny going on here. I'd like to talk to you and Mrs. Noogie Okay, I'll get her. Hello, oh, oh, it's hot in here. You wanted to see me? <laughs> Where's Ted? Whoops, I thought he was here with you. Ted, your sister wants to see you. I'll get him. Wait, I would like to talk to both you and Mrs. Noogie Fire together. Ah, uh, both of us? Ted. Well, why not? Uh, why not? Uh, because Mrs. Noogie Fire is with Kelly and Derek. Uh, that's why. Okay, like you who? Anyone home? It's Kelly. And Derek. Thank goodness. Now we'll get to the bottom of this. Hey, Aunt Ruth. Hi, Aunt Ruth. Hello. Uh, Bobby and Uncle Ted claim Mrs. Noogie Fire's with you. Is this true? Yeah, like, okay, sh she was. Uh, yeah. But then she had to, uh, go to the store for more diapers. Oh, well, in that case, I can leave. It looks like everything is just fine. Oh, water wowsers. <laughs> that was a close call. Derek, Kelly, guess what? Mrs. Nuggie Fire is really Uncle Ted. We, we know. know. Uh, Liz, it is not like we are total zombies. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Ow! You two settle down, or you're grounded. Like, no way! Oh, yes way! If that's what it takes to prove to your parents I can be responsible, I'll do it! You don't suppose Uncle Ted's acting like a parent? Nah. <laughs> yeah, I really owe you one, Bobbo. Just let me know if there's anything, any time I can ever do for you. I might be five years old, but I'm not dumb. Can I go to the tilt a while, Uncle Ted? Huh? Can I? Please, please, please. It looks pretty scary, Bobby. You know, maybe you're too young. You just, you might get sick. Look, it's Jackie. Boy, you're lucky, Jackie. Uncle Ted won't let me go on that ride. I'm going home. Why? I don't feel well. Thank your lucky stars, Bobby, that your Uncle Ted didn't let you go on the ride. Oh. I guess sometimes parents know what they're talking about. But I'd never tell them that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm still not happy about Ted deceiving us like that, don't you know? But Uncle Ted was responsible. He, he didn't let me go on the rides. Exactamundo. Yeah, like, he's right, Mom. That's right, sis. So do I get to look after the kids the next time you're out of town, huh? Yeah, okay, I guess so. Oh, God! Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> wait no, that's a stain. Yeah, I did it on purpose. Now, I gotta look in your eyes here. You've told me everything. Nothing else, gee golly, happened, right? Nothing important. <laughs> Little sweetie, you big bonbon. Or tubbo popcorn, my little jelly bean. Extra butter flavor. <laughs> hey, pipe down, Bobbo. It's free food and a free movie, huh? That's my Uncle Ted. Well, that's our show. Thanks a lot. Who's that? That's Philippe, the duck from across the street. Well, why did the duck cross the road? Because the chicken's on vacation. <laughs> Bye! Bye. <laughs>